Hi everyone. In our previous video, we learned how to make a glass morphism layout in PowerPoint. Today, let's try a slightly different take on that and learn how to make this animated layout where the glass moves and blurs only the background behind it. It's surprisingly easy and quick to do this. So let's get started. First, let's go to our slide master. Select a blank slide master and remove all the existing placeholders from it. Go to insert placeholder, go to picture and drag the placeholder across the slide. Then go to insert placeholder again, go to picture and just draw a rectangle anywhere on the slide. Then go to edit shape, change shape to rounded rectangle. You can adjust the angles. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's rename our layout to glass. Having made our layout, let's close the master view and go back to our normal presentation. Click on layouts and select the new layout, the glass layout that we've created. Now insert a picture into the background layout. Then click the second placeholder and insert the same picture once again. Now PowerPoint has automatically resized this picture to fit the placeholder. So click on crop. Don't click on the black sliders but the white dots and drag the picture across to fit the background. Now we see that the front placeholder is completely camouflaged. Let's add a slight border to this and a slight shadow as well so it stands out a little more. Then let's go to artistic effects and add the blurred artistic effect to it. You can increase the radius to roughly 30 to increase the blur. Go to your shapes, select rounded rectangle and draw another rectangle right over this one. Match it exactly. Go to shape fill and add a light gray to it and remove the shape outline. Then right click on this new rectangle, go to edit points and delete the top right points from. Then increase the transparency to roughly 90%. That gives a slight shadow effect over our glass. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this slide. In our second slide, let's select the placeholder and the shadow we've created and drag it over to a different point in the slide. And in our transitions, add Morph. Now let's have a look at what we've created. A placeholder slides from one point to another quite seamlessly, but the background image is not changing with it. So in order to rectify that, let's select our placeholder, go to picture format and click on crop again. You see the background picture is out of sync. So simply drag that to match what we have as the original picture. Now let's have another look. And boom, we've got a seamless blurring effect. 
wasn't that easy and pretty quick. I've added a practice file for you to try out this animation on your own. So go ahead and download that. And if you found this video useful, help out the channel by dropping a like or subscribing. So long and thanks for all the fish. See you next time.